Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today, we're taking a look at the Dark Rock 4 cooler, courtesy of Be Quiet. Be Quiet sent this over to me for a 12th gen build that I'm working on. I wanted to highlight a couple of quality and value-oriented components with. We'll be taking a look at what's included with the Dark Rock 4 cooler, the performance, and the overall value as it relates to cooling a 12th gen i5. My test system consists of an i5-12600K, a Gigabyte Z690 Gaming X DDR4 motherboard, 32 gigs of DDR4-3200 CL16, and an RTX 3060, all set up inside of a Purebase 500DX. The Dark Rock 4 is a mid-range tower cooler that weighs in at roughly 2 pounds, which is actually quite beefy for a cooler. The cooler is 96 millimeters long, by 136 millimeters wide, by 159 millimeters tall. There are six heat pipes running through the base in order to wick away as much heat as possible. Be Quiet rates this cooler at roughly a 200 watt TDP, which generally speaking means this cooler should be perfect for stock or overclocked operation for any mid-range CPUs out there, and it'll probably be able to cool some of the higher end i7s or Ryzen 7 CPUs. The fan used on the Dark Rock 4 is not the standard Silent Wings fan. This model is a 135mm version that was specifically tuned for performance and low sound output. The fan at max speed will only reach about 21.4 dBA, which is relatively quiet considering several coolers in this price range brute force performance. Those fans spin at much higher RPMs and they typically end up in the 35 to 40 dBA range. Be Quiet implemented a contoured fin surface on this fan, which they also cite as helping improve performance. The cooler does come with clips for a second fan if you wish to buy a second one, but for today I'll just be testing the cooler in its stock form with one fan to get a baseline for performance. Let's take a look at a few CPU benchmarks to get an idea of how well the Dark Rock 4 will cool an i5-12600K Alder Lake CPU. For the first test, we're going to go with Prime95. I chose the maximum heat and maximum load test. After a 30 minute run with the stock settings and MCE set to auto, the 12600K P cores averaged about 64C, while the E cores averaged about 53C. These temps were a little bit lower than I expected, so I went back and ran the test again and actually saw that because the power consumption had increased so much, the clock speed was moving down. This is really an atypical type test. We'll move on to a slightly more realistic test, ASUS's RealBench. RealBench runs an encoding benchmark on the CPU. In the testing, the 12600K averaged 67 degrees on the P cores and 51C on the E cores after the two hour stress test. In 3D Mark Time Spy, during the gaming tests, the P cores averaged about 51C and the E cores averaged about 44C. During the CPU testing, the average temps increased for the P cores up to 54C and the E cores increased to an average of 46C. The Dark Rock 4 performed quite well for the i5-12600K running with stock settings. The Dark Rock 4's cooling capacity should have no issues with MCE mode enabled or really any manual overclock on an i5 level CPU. It's pretty likely that the Dark Rock 4, which I have here, which is not the Pro version, should even be able to cool an i7-12700K CPU. The fit and the finish were quite good on this cooler. I didn't have any issues with the 12th gen mounting system or actually getting the cooler install. The fan does overhang the memory dims a little bit, so standard disclaimer here, try not to use the tallest heat sinks you can get on RAM. Generally speaking though, if you're using slots 2 and 4, you shouldn't have an issue. The cooler does support a second fan, like I mentioned earlier, but I don't think it's really necessary for an i5-12600K or an equivalent 5600X or even a 5800X. You probably are going to want the fan if you move up to a 12700K or a 5900X on the AMD side. Overall, all, I would definitely recommend the Dark Rock 4 for any mid-range gaming PC if you're looking for a good value, good performance, and a good looking cooler overall. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more gaming, tech, and home lab videos. 